Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of the iCarsoft CR Pro on a Volvo vehicle. Uh, this is a 2008 Volvo C30, which as you can see from the dashboard, we've got quite a few warning lights uh, and warning messages on the message center there. So we're going to show you how to use the CR Pro. It's really simple. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones on the market, they can damage your vehicle, but if you use the link in the description below, it will take you directly to the official and genuine product, okay? Uh, so first of all, we're going to select our vehicle. We've got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port via this cable, which is going down into the diagnostic port down there. Uh, and we're going to select our manufacturer, which is Volvo. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'll just scroll through all of the manufacturers just to give you an idea of which manufacturers it does cover. So our Volvo is going to be right down at the bottom of the list. So there's Volvo there. Uh, so we'll select that. And what we'll do first of all is, well actually first of all I'll show you the tool going through the menu system. So I won't get ahead of myself. So you can either ask the tool to select the vehicle uh, or you can find it yourself manually. So we're going to go C30 from 2008. So we're finding the vehicle manually. Um, and then you can go ahead and select your engine type. I think it's this one. I might be incorrect with that, but I'm sure it'll give us a, an error if it's the wrong one. And then we're going to select the control unit so we're going to manually select the system that we wish to diagnose okay uh, so first of all I'll go in with the ABS all right see so we have got the ABS warning light we've got the traction control those two are linked uh, so I'm going to select okay to that and go in and click on read fault code okay so the fault code we've been getting is 0020 and it's giving us wheel sensor right front faulty signal uh, that basically means there was a problem with the, uh, the, the front right ABS sensor uh, we had tested the ABS sensor and it was giving us a fault so we do know that it has been faulty so we put a new sensor in and now we need just simply need to reset the faults which will also allow us to um, get rid of the warning lights okay I apologize if the um, the screen is a bit wobbly um, but let's go back here we'll go to clear fault memory I'm going to click F1 to OK that. Erase operation done and now keep an eye on the ABS light so we've got a flashing ABS light there it should go steady then it'll probably turn off okay so it's gone steady and then it's turned off okay so that's a good sign that's we're off to a good start with the CR Pro kit um, and we'll do the same now for the airbag system okay we found a faulty connection or loose connection underneath the driver's seat so we go to SRS restraint system go to read fault code and the fault we're getting 005B um, front right hand side impact protection sips uh, resistance too high so we checked the connections there was indeed a loose connection it's like a screw connection on this one it just needed to be screwed in a bit further um, and then what we found is that we can click on to clear fault memory we'll click OK to that and again just keep an eye on the airbag light operation done keep an eye on the airbag light it should go off any second It can, sometimes they go off immediately sometimes it takes 10 to 15 seconds there we go that's gone off no problem um, and the last thing I want to show you is if we look on the message sender so just there if we scroll through we've got an engine system service required so we haven't got a check engine light uh, but we have got the engine system service required light so uh, we'll also show you going in to read the engine fault codes now will it give us allow us in here yes it will um, so I must have selected the right one I thought I had um, but this is giving us a, a couple of faults relating to the mass airflow sensor or MAF as it's also known um, we need to put a new mass airflow sensor in so once we've done that we'll be able to erase these fault codes and then get rid of that message there on the message sender okay but we can't do it just yet because we haven't physically fixed the fault okay and that is uh, sometimes a misconception with these tools sometimes people think that you can just reset a warning light without actually fixing the fault sometimes you can sometimes you can get away with that if the fault was like an intermittent fault but in, in most cases you may well need to replace like a sensor or, or part or something like that with an electrical connection and that will allow you to then do the reset okay um, so that's just a quick 
rundown of the CR Pro being used on a Volvo. Uh, it is a really good tool. It does cover a lot of a lot of um, Volvo vehicles. It covers a lot of other manufacturers as well. It does service functions as well. So uh, these are like the, the, the an example of the types of service functions that you will be able to do. Okay. Uh, so like I say, I will put the link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes. There are clones. They can damage your vehicle. It's just not worth going down that route. But if you use the link in the description it will take you through to the official and genuine product okay thanks for watching guys and i hope this helps